The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be live. live. Finally, back to the grind, working on some leg. I'm feeling amazing. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but when you've been out uh, from the ability to push for three going four months, yeah, that feeling of uh, not being uh, not not uh, not being held back by an obnoxious strain on the quad on the side is amazing and yeah uh, to do it uh, on the max effort day uh, I'm going for the variation of chains and it's about 20 pounds on each side 20 pound chain and we got um, to push to see was the conservative max I can go for and today I'm able to make it to 435 uh, which I haven't had in a while hey can you stay quiet oh man don't let that work man oh well yeah so we made it up to 405 and uh, it's pretty smooth you know um uh, light sticking points were pretty much smooth uh in general and then 435 i was really going for 440 but i decided to stop at 435 which is a good choice because uh it was slight grind but not like an absolute grind i could have gone more and go for a single rep max so having stopped at 435 I went for a triple, a 90%, uh, which is uh, 390. So, and after the triple, that was it for the work. I went for the accessories, which would be the good morning in this case. And uh, good morning, that's been doing that for two cycle, two uh, mesocycle cycle now. It's been going pretty well. I get to the fullest range of motion. I worked a life cycle with 185 and building from uh, set of six to set of eight. And today uh, I'm uh, building for set of eight. This is uh, uh, the last round of uh, good morning exercises in my, uh, in my cycle. And guess what happened? Uh, bad news, I strained my um, lower back doing the good mornings which is weird because i've done tremendously heavier load than that like up to 260 260 pound uh, on a good morning for a set of three set of 10 before so it's not like my back cannot sustain that much load this is the first set it went well and this is the third set so the second set went well as well i didn't record it on the third set after the sixth rep the seventh rep was going on and i felt a mild uh, uh, pull or tingling and I just converted it to uh, a squat so yeah you guys will witness that soon and speaking of uh, somebody was asking me how do I get out when I go for more than I anticipated in this case it's something that I could have done obviously but as you sometimes it happens uh, the body just uh, get uh, overwhelmed you know could it be some cumulative work you see it here uh, I had to just accommodate it and cut it short and after that I did uh, the rest of my uh, accessory work and everything went well and let's see the following days how it goes the revolution will not be televised the revolution will be live, live.